Hey there, welcome to Module 10. In this course, we will cover message management. In this module, we will review the platform and platform configuration and walk through SMS number inventory. We will review support content profiles and go through the threading timeline as well as go through messenger configurations and deployments. If you are keeping track, this module will cover the message section. Let's get started. Genesis Cloud ACD Messaging provides a way for your customers to use apps to interact with agents who are using Genesis Cloud. We are going to go through creating a platform for Facebook Messenger, Twitter, and Line Messaging. Under Message, click Platforms. Click Create New Integration. Click the Facebook Messenger tile. The Facebook Messenger page appears. Click Facebook Login. When you see the Facebook Login dialog box, enter your credentials and click Login. When you log into Facebook, Genesis Cloud creates its own session and automatically retrieves any Facebook pages that you own. When creating additional Facebook integrations, you must select all of your Facebook pages integrated with Genesis Cloud, not just the newest edition. After you log into Facebook, two boxes appear in the page. In the name box, type a name that you want to assign to your Facebook Messenger integration. In the page name box, select the Facebook business page to which you want to connect the Facebook Messenger integration. Click Save. In the supported content list, select a supported content profile. If you do not select a supported content profile, the integration uses the default content profile. Click Save again. Once you have a working Facebook integration and have configured ACD messaging for Facebook Messenger, then you can configure message flows in Architect. Now, let's take a look at Twitter Direct Messaging. Genesis Cloud ACD Messaging provides a way for your customers to use Twitter Direct Message to interact with agents who are using Genesis Cloud. Before you can configure ACD messaging for Twitter Direct Message, you must have a Twitter app. Under Message, click Platforms. Click New Integration and click the Twitter Direct Messaging tile. The Twitter Direct Messaging page appears. In the name box, type a name that you want to assign to your integration. In the Consumer Key box, type the code that you set up with your Twitter app. In the Consumer Secret box, type the secret code that you set up with your Twitter app. In the Access Token box, Type the code that you set up with your Twitter app. In the Access Token Secret box, type the code that you set up with your Twitter app. In the App Tier box, select the type of Twitter developer account you have. Choose Enterprise or Sandbox or Premium. If you have a Premium or Sandbox account, enter your Dev Environment label in the Environment Name box. Click Save. Something to note, to find your consumer keys and access tokens from Twitter, open a browser and access your Twitter developer apps page. Click the Keys and Tokens tab. Take note of the codes under the Consumer API Keys heading. Take note of the codes under the Access Token and Access Token Secret heading. Once you have a working Twitter app and have configured ACD messaging for Twitter Direct Message, then you can configure message flows in Architect. Now, let's take a look at Line Messaging. Genesis Cloud ACD Messaging provides a way for your customers to use Line Messaging to interact with agents who are using Genesis Cloud. However, before you can get ACD messaging for Line Messaging up and running, you must have a Line Developer account and a Line Messaging app. The method you use to create your Line app and configure ACD messaging for Line Messaging depends on the type of Line Developer account you have. Regardless of which type of account you have, configuring ACD messaging for Line Messaging requires multiple steps. The process also involves switching back and forth between the Line Developer's console and Genesis Cloud. Click Create New Integration. Click the Line Messaging tile. The Line Messaging page appears. After creating the Messaging API provider in the Line Developer's site, return to this page and enter a name for your integration. Click Generate Webhook API. After saving, Genesis Cloud will create a webhook URI. Copy the link and paste it in the Line Developer Messaging API settings and save. From the Line Developer's site, gather the channel ID, channel secret, switcher secret and service code, and enter it in the respective fields. Once you create your channel using a standard account, look for a QR code at the bottom of the line page. Your customers use this QR code to begin using your app to communicate with your agents in Genesis Cloud. Therefore, you must copy this QR code and display it on your website. Your customers then scan in the QR code to begin using the app. Let's begin to get into this more by looking at the platform configs. 
platform, configs allows you to use default settings across all messaging platforms, if available. Creating one is pretty straightforward. Under Message, click Platform Configs, then click Create Profile. Under Profile Name, enter a name. Under Settings, select Story Mentions, Story Replies or both. Click Create. This will now allow you to add this profile to the platforms you have created, if applicable. Next up, SMS Number Inventory. The SMS Number Inventory page provides you with a list of your SMS numbers and the tools to manage them. The column headers on the page instantly allow you to identify the number, its status, the type of number, and the purchase date. If your SMS number inventory contains many numbers, use the filter feature to narrow your display to only those numbers you want to see. The SMS number inventory page offers the capability to purchase numbers and also provides you with inventory of your numbers. To purchase a number, click Purchase. When the purchase form appears, fill in the appropriate fields to search for the number to purchase. Select the country in which you use the SMS number. Select between local, mobile, or toll-free type. Enter the area code of the number to purchase. Enter two characters that identify the region, province, or state in which to use the SMS number. Enter the name city in which to use the SMS number. Under Search, enter any specific numbers or letters you want your SMS number to have. Click Search. To view the available numbers on the Search Results page, click Search. At the top of the Search Results page, a synopsis appears of your search criteria along with a total of the numbers found. To return to the purchase, form and modify your search criteria, click Change. To refresh the search results, click Fetch New Results. To exit the search results display, click Cancel. When the Confirm Number Purchase dialog appears, click Buy. If the number you select is in a country that requires an address to make a purchase, the address information needed form appears. You can use an existing address or you can create a new one. Once the purchase completes successfully, the number appears in your SMS number inventory. Let's move on to Support Content Profiles. Supported content profiles identify the media types that agents and customers can send through third-party messaging and open messaging. These media types include audio, video, images, text, applications, advanced, and user-defined types. You can configure a content profile for each messaging channel and for inbound and outbound attachments. A messaging channel integration indicates the content profile to use. For more information, see the configuration procedure for your messaging channel. Under Message, click Supported Content Profiles. Click New Content Profile. Enter a name for the content profile. Click Add File Types. In the Add Inbound File Types pane, select the file types to allow. Select a category in the view list. Or, to filter the file types, start typing in the search box. You can select all or select individual files types. A check mark appears next to a selected type. Click Add Inbound Files. The selected file types appear in the Inbound tab. Click the Outbound tab. In the Add Outbound File Types pane, select the file types to allow. Select a category in the view list. Or, to filter the file types, start typing in the search box. You can select all or select individual files types. Select all or select individual files types. A check mark appears next to a selected type. Click Add Outbound Files. The selected file types appear in the Outbound tab. Click Create. Let's move on to the threading timeline. A messaging threading timeline determines the amount of time a messaging conversation remains open after the agent or system disconnects. Once disconnected, the messaging threading timeline begins and will determine how long a messaging conversation threads together before the next message sent starts a new conversation. The messaging threading timeline feature is available for all Genesis Cloud messaging channels, third-party messaging, SMS messaging, Genesis Cloud web messaging, and open messaging. Under Message, click Threading Timeline. Turn on the toggle next to a messaging channel to enable the threading timeline for the messaging channel. Leave the toggle turned off to set the threading timeline to zero. A threading timeline of zero ensures every reply or agentless outbound messaging from a disconnected conversation starts a new conversation. Enter the amount of time in minutes for the threading timeline for each messaging channel. The default is 4,320 minutes or 72 hours. Click Save when finished. Next, we are going to dig deeper into messaging and walk through messenger configurations. Messaging improves the customer experience when they visit your website. Before you use web messaging, 
configure it in Genesis Cloud. Under Message, click Messenger Configurations. Click New Configuration. Enter a name and description. Under the Appearance tab, set your launcher visibility. Under User Interface, leave on if deploying the Messenger native interface. Turn on if building your own messaging client. Under Messenger Home Screen, select whether you want the Messenger to display the home screen. When you turn on this feature, configure the brand logo, customize predefined Messenger labels, and enable the Knowledge app. Under Add a Logo, select the required image to use as the brand logo. When you enable this option, the image appears in the home screen and throughout the knowledge base. Under Humanize your conversation, Select whether to display a participant name and avatar with the messages that route your customers. When this feature is on, optionally define a bot name and custom avatar. Under Select your messenger color, to configure the messenger color according to your organization's preference, manually enter the web color code or use the color picker to select the primary color that matches your brand. Under Select your messenger position, select the messenger alignment and spacing when it appears on your website. Under Select Your Supported Languages, click the Select Language list and choose the languages that you want to support in the Messenger interface. Under Select Default Language, click the Select Language list and choose the default language. Click the Apps tab. Under Conversation Disconnect, select the messaging behavior that informs your customers when the conversation disconnects. Under Rich Text Formatting, select whether to allow rich text formatting. Under Automatically Start Conversations, Select whether conversations start automatically when the user expands the messenger window. This setting works best when you configure Architect's inbound message flow to send automatic greetings. When this feature is off, conversations start when the user sends the first message. Under Attachments, select whether to allow JPEG, PNG, or GIF image attachments from customers. Under Typing Indicators, select whether to inform the other party when a reply is being typed. Under Co-Browse, select whether to allow agents to request to view a customer's screen. After you enable this option, you can also enable the agents to request control of the user's screen. Additional configuration options include masking of sensitive fields and limiting fields or buttons to read only, even when the agent has control of the sharer's browser. Under CSS Masking, enable CSS selectors for masking elements on the customer's screen. This automatically includes Cobra's mask to allow only authenticated users to start a web messaging session with agents. Under Authentication, either enable the integration or, if you do not have a valid OpenID click set up an integration here, install OpenID Connect Messenger configuration from App Foundry, configure it, and return to this page. Under Knowledge Articles, select whether to enable the Knowledge app. When you enable Messenger home screen and Knowledge Articles, users can search for answers to commonly asked questions and topics. Under Predictive Engagement, select whether to enable the messenger to collect data about customer activity on your website. Predictive Engagement uses this data to track and manage customer activity. Finally, under the Support Center tab, you can enable Support Center functionality, and you can enable Support Center feedback if you want to capture it. A welcome and fallback message can also be set. Under Knowledge Base, you can set the Knowledge Base for the Support Center. You can also set the top viewed articles to display. Under Display, you can set the header, global, and primary colors. After completion, click either Save New Version or Save Draft. Now that we have created our Messenger configuration, let's take a look at the Messenger deployments. Messenger enables web messaging by providing a predefined Messenger window that customers use to interact with bots and agents. Before you create a Messenger deployment, configure Messenger and save a version of the configuration. Under Message, click Messenger Deployments. Click New Deployment. Enter a name and description. Under Status, use the toggle to set the status of the Messenger deployment. Under Select Your Configuration, click Select Configuration to select a version of a Messenger configuration to assign to this deployment. In the Assignment pane, navigate to the Messenger configuration you want to assign to the configuration and click the name of the Messenger configuration. Select the version you want to assign. Click Save. Under Restrict Domain Access, Determine whether to allow all domains or restrict the domains on which you want to deploy the snippet. Under Select Your Architect Flow, select a published inbound message flow. Click Save. After saving, click back into the deployment you just created, scroll down and to deploy your snippet, click Copy to Clipboard. Paste the snippet to the head tag of all your web pages. 
To use the deployment key with your custom messaging client, configure it in your SDK. As you can see, Messenger and social media integrations are quickly becoming the way we can engage and keep our customers engaged. To recap in this module, we reviewed the platform and platform configuration and walked through SMS number inventory. We reviewed support content profiles and went through the threading timeline as well as walked through messenger configurations and deployments. In the next module, we will cover predictive engagement. See you there.